So here's a really dirty old radio. I don't think this thing has been cleaned in 50 years. So this is a Gojo cleaning demonstration. First, to get the worst of it off, let's uh, just use one. This is not a valuable radio. I'm just doing this for a rough demonstration. We're going to first wipe off the dirt. Water is your best solvent. Water doesn't hurt anything, especially if it's removed. Of course, there's grit there, so I don't want to rub hard. Now, yeah, this is not a, this Bakelite is not in good condition. I see it's been cleaned with something roughly long, long time ago. Well, there's no gloss left on this. But anyway, the Gojo process. Here's your Gojo. And here's a handy kind of cleaning brush. Just dip the brush in the Gojo. And this uh, handle would be kind of hard to clean normally, but we just we just smush it around. We got the grid off. Presumably we got all the sand and the grid off, which I really didn't take pains to do. But this is basically, for a non-critical surface, a brush is the fastest way to apply the Gojo. Now, paper towels. Pardon the shaky camera. And you see a dirt coming off. And it will continue to come off for a while. So we could repeat this process. The nice thing about Gojo is that it's soapy. It's a lubricant. It makes very little, uh, there's very little tendency for it to cause scratching because the soap is a, helps the dirt glide. Put on some more. Yeah, this, this is an old abused case. It'll come up clean, but it's not going to have a shine because the shine was permanently removed a long time ago. Somebody must have cleaned this Bakelite with a harsh cleaner like Windex. Anything that contains ammonia will devastate the surface finish of Bakelite. When Bakelite is made, it's a composition of solid fillers and phenolic resin. And when it comes out of the mold, there's a glaze coat of phenolic resin on the surface. And that's where the original shine came from. See that brown? Some of that dirt, but some of that is deteriorated resin. Also, if a radio or other Bakelite object has been sitting in the sunlight, ultraviolet will degrade it. But you see, um, I could do this several more times and get off all the dirt that's going to come off. Now it leaves it with a nice smooth finish. We could wipe it a few more times with towels. I apologize again for the shaky camera. But, boy, that looks a lot better than it did, and a lot better than just plain water would do, or plain um, or, or dishwashing soap. Don't use dishwashing soap on Bakelite either. It's too strong. And these little spots here, I see paint splatters. So this was in a room that was being painted at one time. Anyway, with a with some TLC, all the dirt that's going to come off by any means, we'll come off by Gojo. You can see that see it's got a little, little gloss, but that's the Gojo getting it to gloss. There's, yeah, that Bakelite is rough and pitted. Damaged a long time ago. So there's a basic Gojo demonstration. I hope you liked it. Now in the kitchen, uh, here's a countertop where the cat food is kept and where the cat eats. And I don't know if you can see the dirt on the form mic of it. Uh, rather than using a spray cleaner, uh, uh, just a little bit of Gojo on the brush. This is the brush I just used to clean the filthy radio. So it's a dirty Gojo. Anyway, a quick brushing and then a, a simple wipe. And it's absolutely clean. But moreover, 
it feels slick and smooth, not dry. Oh, this is even focusing. I have very little light here. And here, this is really dirty butcher book. cleaned out a year ago. It, it, it's certainly gotten dirty again. Newspapers and newsprint rubbed off ink here and just household dust. Um, just liberally apply the gojo. And you can see they have, people's hands have been here. Or the cat. The cat. This is where the cat walks. I'll blame all this dirt on the cat. But you can see there is grime. It's funny, I never notice this stuff until I turn the camera on. And you can see cleaning quickly. Now I could let that set for hours if need be. And it will suction the dirt right out of the wood. But take a look at my uh, let's get a clean cloth going here. Okay now, we'll, now let's take a clean paper towel and give it a wipe. And that is uh, the dirt of just a few months, maybe six months, maybe a year, I forget. I don't think it's been a year. Compare that against mm, that. that. That's filth that will come right off. Sure, you could do that with 409, but 409 would damage, in this case, would take off the what's left of this brown varnish, would damage it. Gojo won't hurt paint. Now here's a kitchen TV, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to photograph it. Here's cat dirt again. That's not one. I'll just give it a wipe with a filthy brush. Absolutely safe for plastics. I'm going to get another towel. Uh, it will also clean glass. But just anything, anything that gets a film on it, anything in the kitchen that gets dirty, you can you can clean with Gojo. And if you don't like the slick feel, uh, just rinse the surface with a wet cloth after you're done. And so that's the Gojo demonstration. Gojo, hand cleaner, good stuff, cleans everything.